Hello everyone and welcome to Shelf Space. I'm your host, Rodos13, and today we are looking at something a little bit different. The good folks at Steady sent over these, the electroplated color markers. These are very similar to the Gundam markers that I've used in the past, but it's done by a different company and supposedly have a little bit of a different finish to them. So we're gonna check them out and see what they're like. Now, like I said, these guys did actually reach out to me and asked if I wanted to do a review on one of their products and let me get a free sample of these. I just wanna be totally clear and upfront on that. They haven't specified anything else. This isn't really sponsored per se, I guess, but they did give me these samples. So that's what you know now. <laughs> Anyway, let's get this opened up and take a look at the actual pens. Set that aside. Ooh, they're all individually wrapped. So we got a very nice looking gold, copper, and silver. Like I said, they're individually wrapped and sealed up. So let's get them opened up and let's start testing them on this guy. It's one of the uh, horses from the uh, SD Hero line. So like Gundam markers, we're gonna want to shake these up pretty good, press down on the nib, and then keep them closed when not in use. So for this little demonstration, like I said, we're going to use this uh, SD Hero's horse figure. We're gonna pop off one of the legs, and we're gonna add a little bit of detail to this because I don't think this thing even came with stickers. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna do the hoof up in like silver and then add some of the gold and copper on here to add some little extra oomph to it. So let's get started on that. So we're gonna take the silver marker. It's already been shaken up and it's producing stuff. And I'm gonna try to do this best I can. This is very difficult to do while on camera. I'm just gonna kind of carefully pull it over the plastic. Not pressing very hard, just kind of letting it flow out naturally. And so far, this is looking really, really nice. It actually does have a bit of a reflective quality to it. I don't know if that's just because it's still wet or what, but this looks really good so far. Gundam markers, usually when you put them down, have more of a, uh, a matte or at least a satin finish to it. But uh, this is definitely glossy. So let's put a little bit more on here and then I'll show it to you in just a second. So this looks really darn good. Like I was saying, um, it has a more glossy finish to it. And I am very impressed with how this is looking. I don't know how it compares to say like the Maltov chrome pens because I've never actually used those. But um, in comparison to say a Gundam marker, I'd say this does give a really nice finish. Uh, we're gonna wanna let it dry a little bit longer before I mess with it too much. But I think we can go ahead and start adding on some of the other colors so we can see what those are like. So let's take a look. So let's go ahead and start with the copper here. We're gonna do this little bit right here. Now admittedly, this looks more like gold, but I bet when we get some of the gold on this to compare, we'll see the difference. Again, I'm just carefully kind of pulling it across the surface. It pulls a little bit, but it also does kind of even out as it goes. Now 
and I apologize if some of this is getting off camera. This is very difficult to do. Because I probably should be trying to look at it through the camera while I'm doing this, but I'm more comfortable looking at it with my own hands. Oops, that was a mistake. I just put my fingers on that, and yeah, that was still damp. So uh, let's do a fancy cut, get things uh, finished up a little bit more, and maybe fix that. Oops, so here is the copper all done. And also I touched up the silver, which hey, that's a good thing. You can touch it up a little bit if you accidentally touch it like a dummy like I did. <laughs> and while it's not like as reflective feeling as the silver, it's still very, very shiny, very metal looking, which that's kind of what you want from something that calls itself electroplating. So let's go ahead and try to get some gold on here and then we'll let this sit for a bit and figure things out from there. So I think for the gold we're going to do this little bit right here. So make sure I'm in frame and then we're going to just carefully yeah, and so the gold is definitely a different color from the copper. The copper has more of a brownish tinge to it. Uh, hopefully it shows up okay on camera. I'm looking at it in real life and I can see the difference, but looking at it on my screen, it is not as evident. But I can tell you, it is a different color. You can trust me, I'm an artist. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. And here we are, and this looks really nice, particularly that silver. I think the silver is my uh, favorite bit from here, because even though it's dried a little bit, it's still very shiny and somewhat reflective. Again, like I said, it's not like the uh, Maltov pens from what I've seen, where it's laying down like a literal mirror finish, but it's still pretty darn close from what I'm seeing. And this thing just looks really, really good. So for what they are, I am very impressed. Let's try one more piece before we wrap things up. I wanna see what happens when I put some on this clear plastic bit. So let's get this off. And what do you guys think? Uh, let's put some gold around here. So once again, we're just gonna carefully lay it down and wow, it looks super vibrant on this because it's easy for metallic colors to look good when you're putting it on like a black substrate so that's why i was curious what happens if i do this translucent red the surface is also a lot more slick i haven't done any sanding on this which is probably a a gumpla no-no there but i live dangerously and ta -da! This looks really, really nice, even on the translucent red plastic. I am very impressed with how this stuff looks. So we're gonna let this dry for 24 hours and through some video editing magic, we'll be back and get my final thoughts. All right, 24 hours later, let's see how everything looks. And oh my word, these look amazing. The silver is still very shiny and somewhat reflective. So this might be a good alternative to the Maltov uh, chrome pens um, if you can't easily get those. And the gold and copper look pretty darn good as well. Let's see how it came out on this piece and goodness I'd say it almost looks even better here very very nice stuff I am legitimately impressed with how this came out so final thoughts these things are legit impressive the silver in particular is very shiny and has a reflective quality on it that I haven't seen from Gundam markers so I absolutely love that. I think my only complaint is that the difference between the gold and the copper is very minimal. It's hard to show it off on camera. 
Uh, in person, it's a little bit more of a difference, but I feel like they could have added a little bit more red or a little bit more brown to the copper in order to really make these different. But yeah, overall, the steady electroplated color markers, very cool, and I could definitely give them a recommendation. There should be a link somewhere down below for you to take a look and try them out yourselves. And if you're on the Clock app, there should be a link of some sort that maybe can even help me out a little bit if you use it. I'm not 100% sure how all this stuff works. <laughs> but again, thank you very much to Steady for sending these out to me so that way I could take a look at them and tell everybody about them. And thanks to all of you for watching, and I'll see all of you the next time you invade my shelf space.